Hi, my name is Ye Hung Chen. I'm with the University of California, San Francisco, Global Health Sciences. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fit and interpret logistic regression models using time location sampling data, or TLS data. This video is part of a series on analyzing behavioral surveillance data from surveys that use time location sampling, or respondent-driven sampling. Regression is a statistical technique for modeling outcomes as a function of one or more other variables. Logistic regression is a special type of regression in which the outcome variable of interest is dichotomous. In other words, the outcome can only have two possible values. Regression is used for different scientific goals, such as to form a predictive model or to obtain an estimate for a causal effect. Methods for choosing variables to include in a model should depend on the goal of analysis. Techniques for model selection are outside the scope of this video. Consult a statistician if you'd like further guidance. In this video, we'll be using the same data set we used in our last video, involving men who have sex with men, or MSM. For our first example, we'll fit a bivariate logistic regression model to examine the relationship between unprotected receptive anal intercourse, or URAI, and HIV status. For our second example, we'll fit a multivariate logistic regression model to examine the relationship between URAI and HIV status while adjusting for age. Recall that in our last video, we found that the estimated prevalence of URAI was higher among HIV-positive MSM than it was among HIV-negative MSM. We can use a logistic regression model to assess whether the difference is statistically significant. You'll need to have an individual level data set with the weights already merged in. To begin, we'll assume that you've already loaded the data and specified the survey design. Let's first briefly explore the data set. Our exposure variable of interest, HIV, is called HIV RSLT and is code neg and pause. Our outcome variable of interest, URAI, is called MURAI. Stata expects the outcome variable for a logistic regression to be coded with zeros and ones, which is what we see here. We also have a variable for age group, called age group, coded with integers between 1 and 4. Each integer represents a unique age group. Now, to fit a bivariate logistic regression model, type xi colon survey colon logistic, followed by our outcome variable, murai, and then i dot and our exposure, hiv rslt. The xi and the i dot indicate that we want Stata to generate dummy variables for hiv rslt and to use the dummy variables in the model. Notice that at the top of the output, Stata informs us that a dummy variable was not created for HIV-negative MSM, which means that HIV-negative MSM is our reference group for the odds ratios. The estimated odds ratio for URAI comparing HIV-positive MSM to HIV-negative MSM is in the first row and is 2.0, with 95% confidence interval of 0.2 to 19.2. In other words, the odds for URAI is estimated to be two times higher among HIV-positive MSM than it is among HIV-negative MSM. However, because the confidence interval does include one, we conclude that there is no association between HIV status and URAI. Suppose our goal is to estimate the causal effect of HIV status on URAI. We might be worried about possible confounding by age. We can address this possible confounding by adjusting for age in our model. To do that, type xi colon survey colon logistic MURAI I dot HIV RSLT plus I dot and our age group variable, age group. The estimated odds ratio for URAI comparing HIV positive MSM to HIV negative MSM adjusted for age is in the first row and is 2.4 with a 95% confidence interval of 3.0 to 19.5. In other words, the odds for URAI is estimated to be 2.4 times higher among HIV positive MSM than it is among HIV-negative MSM of the same age groups. Because the confidence interval does include one, our interpretation is still the same after adjusting for the possible confounder of age. The analysis still suggests no relationship between HIV status and URAI. That concludes our video on fitting and interpreting logistic regression models using TLS data. Thanks for watching.